Hi, I'm Rachel, and in this series, I'll be road tripping the 101 from Seattle, Washington to San Diego, California. So come along and join me for the ride. We launched our road trip with an unforgettable night at the Taylor Swift concert in Seattle. Our plan for the next few days is to drive the Washington portion of the 101, ending just across the border in Astoria, Oregon. Olympic National Park will be the main focus of our first day, um, but there's so much to see and do. We're looking forward to an incredible trip. Still rough around the edges I guess that some things never change Yeah, I know that it's been ages But it kind of feels the same No matter how hard I try, you cannot push me out, so just listen I've been thinking of you since you broke it and moved to LA And no matter how hard I try, I cannot get you out of my system I know we both have something left to say Can you stay a little longer? Can I make you change your mind? Yeah, I know that it's over But can we stay here for a while? Until everything's alright again doing one of her crazy swims. Is it warm or cold? It's warm until you get up to like knee high in the tree. <laughs> So this is our accommodation in um, Fox. It's pouring with rain, so instead of camping, we booked a night in a motel. This is crazy, it was like $175 for the night, and we got this whole suite. It has a little kitchen. See, little kitchen, a living room, a king-size bed, this is the bedroom and a bathroom and last night in seattle our accommodation cost us 250 dollars for a room that shared a bathroom with four other rooms so
So, yeah. Awesome value for money. Wasted money on cures. Forgot how to fix myself. They say that time is free. Then why is it so precious? Oh, I'll say. We just stopped at Rialto Beach, which isn't strictly on the 101, but it is about 20 minutes off it and is still a part of the Olympic National Park, which we visited Lake Crescent and we're now heading to the Ho Rainforest. So a big part of the 101 up in Northern Washington is the Olympic National Park. So it's definitely worth a stop. It's beautiful, uh, especially if you get there really early. Um, I'm really early as in before 9 a.m. because it, the beach is very quiet compared to, we've been there once before, but we went in the afternoon, um, similar time of the summer, and it was packed. The parking lot, there was no spots, and it was just kind of unpleasant. So getting there early makes a huge difference. And it's a very classic Washington stop uh, on the 101 road trip. Lately, I've lost my track. Lost my track. Said... So we are currently in the Ho Rainforest in uh, Olympic National Park, and we are doing the whole of Moss's Trail, which is a 0.8 mile uh, trail round trip that is just goes through the rainforest it's one of the shorter ones so it's great to get a little taste of the rainforest and the whole rainforest is actually i believe the only temperate rainforest in the u.s and it's absolutely beautiful so green i mean we're here in july it's raining it's very drippy but it is so green and full of life and i can't wait to explore the trail and see what else is out there so come along and let's go No, cut. <laughs> What do you think of our ten dollar burgers, Rach? Good. Fresh at least. Yes. Not the fanciest, but hot off the grill. We're starving, so <laughs> but they were very expensive. <laughs>
and rent the lighthouse cottage, the lighthouse keeper's cottage. This is a really cool couple of hikes where you can hike up to the lighthouse or down to the beach. Down there. the border into Oregon and finished our Washington section of the 101 road trip and it absolutely exceeded expectations. It's the coastline, the little towns we've driven through, the forest has all been beautiful and so charming and was just so much better than I thought. Um, everything was picturesque and so it even you got to go all the way all the way north even though it may seem like a far way to go it is totally worth it and an absolutely perfect first leg of our 101 road trip. <laughs> 